Before we get into all of that, though, happily, I can report that, according to his agent, the author, Sir Salman Rushdie, has been taken off a ventilator and was actually able to talk on Saturday. The man represents values that we all ho ought to hold dear. He symbolises how free speech is in peril. You'll remember that his novel, The Satanic Verses, was banned in some countries and a fatwa was issued in 1989 on him by Ayatollah Khomeini. Now, the Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, in tweeting how she felt very sick, as we all did, at the news of the attack on Rushdie, she was actually sent a death threat, warning that she would be next, which the police are now investigating. It's certainly not the first death threat Rowling has received for daring to be a woman with a view on gender ideology. Where are the left wing and the feminist voices rushing to Rowling's aid to defend freedom of speech? Where are the social media hashtags and the protests on the street with all of those banners emblazoned across London for freedom of expression and the right to offend? Across the West today, the free flow of ideas is becoming increasingly problematic. In today's world, anybody who dares voice an idea that goes against the grain, you can lose your livelihood, you can lose your reputation, or worse. Over recent years, we've seen blasphemy laws ushered in by the back door in Britain. The Batley Grammar School teacher that the school suspended for showing a caricature of the prophet Muhammad to children was a year on. One year on after showing a cartoon was still reported to be in Haydn. Again, I ask you, where were the left-wing voices and our politicians counter-protesting against those outside that school? Counter-protesting the case that this isn't a country in which blasphemy and offence are actions that lead to a loss of livelihood or threats to your well-being. Months ago, we on this channel were covering the pulling of a blasphemous film from cinema chains around the nation, thanks to similar protests. Britain's got to find its backbone. This happens when you just shrug your shoulders and allow freedom of speech to be placed on life support. Free speech means that some will agree and some won't. I know that better than most and more Marmite than many people. And that's how you have actually healthy debate and advanced conversations and discussions around politics and policy. Our ancestors, right, they fought and died for our right to offend, to speak, and for authors like Roland and Rushdie to be able to have uncomfortable conversations. They were values worth fighting for, and they're sure as hell values worth fighting for now. I know whose side I'm on. Do you?